Now in this video, I'm gonna teach you how this football can actually get you the right, the correct right shoulder movement and how to get that elbow from popping out like this, getting that club steep. We're gonna get it nice and shallow and from the inside. Now, most people get it wrong when they're doing drills that do this. A lot of times I'll see people when they're trying to keep this right elbow in. So I'm trying to tuck this right elbow in, get the club in the slot like we've seen all the great players do. You may put a strap that kind of holds the elbows in. So it's a strap that goes around your arms and now it forces the elbows in. Well, the, the issue with that is if I'm throwing my elbow out and I'm throwing my right shoulder up like this, that's what kicks the club on top. What I'm doing is I'm engaging the front of my body, the front of my chest, which is getting the right shoulder that way, my pec. I'm also getting the muscles that internally rotate my arm. So whenever I throw my elbow out, I'm taking this upper arm and I'm internally rotating it like you're going to slam your hand down on the ground or down on the, uh, the face of a table or something like that. So I'm internally rotating my arm. So when those muscles engage in the front of my arm here, that's going to kick this elbow out. That's going to kick that right shoulder forward. Now, if I take a band that forces my elbows in, I can still have those same muscles engage that want to kick the elbow out, but the strap is holding it in. Well, the problem is as soon as I take that strap off, all of a sudden I'm going to go back to kicking it steep, right shoulder over, right arm to want to internally rotate. What I need is I need something that's going to force me to go too much in that direction. And I actually have to engage my back, engage the, muscle, engage the muscles that externally rotate my arm or turn my arm this way. And that's what's going to get me to kick this habit once and for all. Really, that's a, the one thing that I see that's wrong with a lot of training aids is that they don't teach you to engage the right muscles. So they're great when you're using the training aid. It gets you kind of the right feeling of where you'd want to be, but it doesn't get you to engage the right muscles to where that can actually happen when they go away. Now this football, I'm going to stick it in my right side here. Now it's almost kicking my arm out this way a little bit too much. It's almost throwing that, that arm out a little bit because it's a little bit wider and you can see it's keeping some space between my right arm and my body. Well, now when I have this football under here, I have to actually engage the correct muscles to kind of squeeze this football against my chest. And I feel like it's going to be pretty tight there and it's going to force me to use the right muscles to actually shallow this out. So again, when I set up with this football, look how my right arm wants to throw this way. Well, now I'm going to have to engage the right muscles to kind of kick this in and get that club shallowed out. So if I want any chance of shallowing this club out at all with this football here, I have to do double the work and really engage those muscles. So I like to keep it back here. I'm really gonna pinch that in. And then from here, I'm gonna feel like I make a, a, a straight swing. I don't wanna let myself go out here. That's what it feels like I wanna do when I have this football in there, is I wanna go like that and get the wrong muscles engaging. So I'm gonna fight over time to get this coming more from the inside and hitting down through here squarely. Now, when I remove this football, all of a sudden I've done five, 10, 15 reps and my arm wants to do this now because I'm used to trying to pinch that football in there. Well, you'll notice when I do that in a real swing, that gets the elbow in, that gets the sh shoulder down and back. I'm engaging the back of my, my shoulder and that's getting it in the slot. So let's go ahead and try one out there now. And I really feel like that's the move that I've just been working on. Now I've engaged those correct muscles. There we go, nice and solid. I felt like I had a lot of power when I'm doing that. Now you don't wanna make a full swing doing that. That's a little half swing drill. If you go too far back and I start to really elevate the arms, that football might fly out. So it's really just a half back swing and then I'm fighting to shallow that club out and square it up through contact. Now there's one piece that's missing from this and that's to square up the club. Let me grab this football again actually and I'll show you what I mean by this. If I have this football on my side, it's wanting to kick my arm out and it's wanting me to kind of throw this club over the top like that. This is squaring it up the wrong way. This is that flip or that cast type motion. I have to work hard when I get this to the inside like this now to use my wrist to properly use this left wrist to bow or even what I find works better for most players is to get these knuckles in the correct angle like the pros are doing to compress that golf ball. That's what gets you lag and that's what gets you to square up the face the right way. Now I have a great bonus video for you called the tennis racket drill 
which is gonna train those wrists to square up the right way. Especially this right wrist, these knuckles, and this left wrist where it's bowed like that. I'm gonna teach you how to get that, that feeling intuitively, and it's really easy once you try that tennis racket drill out. That's kind of the perfect matchup to, now I've got my club in the slot, what I don't wanna do is have the face wide open. I gotta get that face squared up by using the wrist angles, angles properly. So I'm gonna play a preview of that video here in a second. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on your screen somewhere. If you don't see the card, don't worry about that. Go down to the description below and click the link there and you'll get instant access to this tennis racket drill. Let's go and get started. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, 